So as a follow on to the last video we did where we made this stuff, this is the hemp casein tannin bioplastic. I've actually dried it now and as you can see it's more or less like breadcrumbs or sawdust and that's the kind of constituency that you want. Now we're going to mould this and to do that we need a heat, a heat press and put a lot of pressure on it. Now um, you need to get it to about 140, 150 degrees centigrade and then apply pressure. So it's quite possible you could just put it into your oven and then stick it in a vise and turn the vise down. Now obviously I've got this heat press and, and that's what I'm going to use but it's not got enough pressure on it because there's only a lever arm here and I, I can't get that much pressure on that. So what I'm probably going to do is take the mould to a vise or to a press and press it once I've got it to 150 degrees. Now this stuff is uh, moisture critical. You have to get it dry. You can't have that much moisture in it. If it's wet and you heat it and press it, you'll press off a lot of steam and it won't form properly. And what we're aiming to form, let's see, ah, there it is. <coughs> Here's what I made earlier. We're aiming to form a block like that. And that's a block of the bioplastic that has been formed. And it's actually quite plastic, it's quite nice. Now to make that, what I used was this thing which is an aluminium soap mould that I had kicking around. So that's my soap mould. I can put my bioplastic into the mould cavity, stick the lid on, get some heat in there and press it down and I'll end up with a nice plastic block like this. So this is a heat pressed mould. Now all I actually have to do is stick some of this stuff in here and give it a start of a sort of a squeeze down So you get quite a lot in because there's quite a lot of air in here and it's going to be weighted material at the end of the day so it's another one of those things to experiment with. There we go. And that's quite a nice load of material. So now I can put the top on here. And I can give that a good firm press down. Now I'm not going to get enough pressure on that, so I'm going to take that to the vise. I just stick that in the vise there and give it a few turns. I'll be able to press everything down nice and tight. Now, if I haven't dried this enough, what will happen is some of the liquid will come out now. And if that's the case, you really want to dry it more. And yet, there is some coming out. I'm not going to bother, but... It's obviously still a bit damp. Okay. <coughs> now we've got it into the mould and we've got a bit of pressure on there. We need to heat that, as I say, to 150 degrees. I'm going to put it in my heat press, but you could, as I say, equally stick this in the oven at 150 degrees, just get the whole thing hot and wear some gloves. Okay, so in order to get this to the heat press, what I need is one of these, which slides into the press. Slip in the thermocouple. I put some heat tape on there, stick that under there, and turn this on. Now that will get up to 150 degrees easily. And we leave that to get up to temperature, give it another press, and then leave it for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's had its 10 minutes at 150 degrees. Now remember I let it rise up to 150 degrees and then left it for 10 minutes. So, pull it out. There we go. And we can take that over to the press. Now bear in mind, uh, I'm only guessing, really. Now this stuff is called Galileith, and it's called Galileith, or was called Galileith, for a very good reason. It is as strong as stone when you do it properly. 
Now, all I've really done is read a paper that told me to use tannin instead of formaldehyde as a hardening agent. I've tried that, it works super. And I've mixed in a little bit of hemp. That really is all I've done. Now, the rest of it has been, in essence, guesswork. I mean, I've left it for 10 minutes. I don't know if that's right. I put it at 150 degrees because it said don't put it at a temperature where you're going to burn it. I don't know if it could do it at a higher temperature. I don't know if it would work at a lower temperature. I've just chosen 150 degrees almost at random because it won't burn the stuff and it will melt it. So there's an awful lot of stuff that I'm doing that really is just guesswork. If you read around on this subject and you have a look at the research, it'll guide what you can do. Because as I say, you can really make this your own. Now we can put other additives apart from hemp in there. We could put uh, the graphene in there. So that graphene method I showed on how to make bulk make graphene, you could use that straight away as pour that in and make a graphene hemp plastic. So there's an awful lot of things you could do with this, starting from here. This really is a guide more than an absolute recipe, because there are lots and lots of things that you could do. Now all we have to do is leave that to cool, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll leave that to cool and come back to it. Uh, another thing I should have said, actually, is that even this methodology is just me trying to work out a way of doing it, and it's less than ideal. I mean, heating the thing and then taking it to the press, you've got a cooling time in between. You really want a heater and a press at the same time. But, you know, you do what you do. Uh, I don't even think that this is a particularly good block, because I don't know if you heard it spring up as we were pressing it. So we could make a better pressing block and get more pressure on there. That would be really good. It is a bit of a muck around to do all of that stuff. So what would be even better, obviously, if we... If, we could put it in an injection machine, injection molding machine. Now if you add glycerin to this, you can in fact injection mold it. And I did an earlier video where we did exactly that. We put glycerin in and we put it in the injection molder. So there's lots and lots wrong, if you like, with what's going on here. But it really is just a guide. Okay, let's leave that and come back to it in a second. Okay, so I've given that plenty of time to cool. Let's take it out and see what we've got. There it is, a bit of moulded casing plastic. So it's still a little warm, a little bit flexible. We'll let that harden up, see what we've got. But basically, that's how you take this stuff, which is our casing hemp plastic that we made, and turn it into a moulded object. Bit of heat, bit of pressure. That's all there is to it. Anyway, I thought that was of interest. I hope you did too, and thank you very much for watching.